Hey YouTube, Matt M. Roy back once again. Well, I'm going to take the suggestion of quite a few people um, that had wrote uh, personal messages to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the CPU and the video card that was in this e-machine and I'm going to stick them in the Dell. Um, as you can see, I've already removed the motherboard and also the video card. If you look here, I'll try and get as close as I can. You can kind of see these caps have definitely bulged up. And this one here, I don't know if it'll show or not. Right there, you can see the electrolyte has started to come out. So this motherboard is definitely shot. And you can even see these caps have bulged as well. This one has, this one's maybe just slightly. So, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that CPU, I'm going to attempt to do this, they should both be compatible, and the video card and install it in here. Um, unfortunately, I can't film that because I don't have the tripod with me, and I need both my hands to do this. So, once everything is completed, I will be back with you guys. And I did stop by the local computer shop up here and picked up some of this uh, thermal paste. It's called Arctic Alumina. Um, I, you know, I like using better quality stuff than this, but when you're up in, up in the sticks, this is all you can get. It's Arctic Silver. It's actually Arctic Silver, which isn't too bad, but, you know, I, I, I get mine from our local shop, and it always seems to do well, so hopefully this will be as good as the stuff I usually get. So anyway, I'll be back as soon as I've completed the... Alright, and here are the two CPUs when they're out. This is the Sempron one, and again, you guys can pause this if you want to read the information on there. That's the one that I'm going to be replacing with, the one that came out of the e-machines, which is this Athlon. It's definitely going to be a step up, and it was kind of difficult to clean the thermal paste off there. The one from the uh, Dell was really, really caked on. It was old, and you could tell it definitely gotten hot on occasion. Um, the, that was this one. The Athlon one was actually pretty good. The thermal paste was still pliable and moist, so I was kind of surprised. So, be back in a few minutes and everything should be put back together. Okay, we, I got it in. I got the dual core CPU in here. And the very last thing I have to do is stick in the video card. Now I took the little bracket off here. I just got to take this little blank piece out. And this I should be able to do one-handed. Slide that into place. Make sure she's nice and firmly tucked in there. Now, with these style Dells, it's really easy to get to the blanks for the expansion cards. You just have to unscrew this one screw. It goes on, you put it up a little bit high, and it pushes down and actually clamps up here. And let me see if I can get this screw in. Put you guys there just for a second. And then the screw just goes right here. Oh. Hang on, it didn't initialize right. You got to make sure that it gets into the brackets properly up here. Hope you guys can see that. Yeah. Sometimes if it doesn't sit in there, you just kind of put pressure on the back plate while you're screwing it in. I apologize. I know you guys are having a hard time seeing this. There we go. Now you put the pressure on there. Now that should be nice and tight. And here's what the old one looked like. Uh, this was the old heat sink fan and then that's where the CPU sits. These are let's see, these are socket so I can read that. Oh these are AM2 sockets. So yeah, so we should be good to go. But let's put this back together and we'll go ahead and give it a try. Alright, so I'm back inside the house and we're gonna give this a try. So smoke test. That's a good sign. Oh, something's coming up. 
see if I can go into the setup. Let's see if I can get in. Here we go. It was a little too slow there. Let's see. I think, yep, F2 for the setup on this. Let's see what it shows. Okay, yeah, it does show it. it shows an AMD processor. It says unknown model, clock speed 2500. Yeah, so it looks like it found the new CPU. Okay. Go ahead and boot it up and see what happens. You can see we got the blue light, which is always a good sign. May have to update the uh, BIOS on this, but we'll see. Yeah, look at that revision. That's version 1. Now, I'd already started the install on this. I'm hoping it, it'll still be okay, because the only thing that's changed is the CPU and the video card. Windows 7 should be able to find both of those, no problem. like Windows hasn't finished configuring for the last updates. So I'll let this work and I'll be back in just Alright, we're back in the operating system. As you can see, Windows has seen the processor, but it definitely needs a BIOS update because it doesn't even know exactly what processor it is. It just knows it's running at 2.5 gigahertz. And it's trying to find the video card driver. Looks like it might have just done that, so i got to restart it. But yeah, BIOS update should fix that problem, because this is literally running, I'll show you what versions is running. It's running version 1.0.10, which is probably one of the initial releases. And you can hear that the computer doesn't kick in right away either, that could also be indicative of a old BIOS. And I'm positive, I'm almost positive this video card will work because the e-machines that it came out of was a Vista computer. So Vista and Windows 7 use the same kernel, so it should definitely work in Windows 7. Looks like it hasn't found the video card drivers yet. Either that or it's on the basic mode. Okay, it hasn't found the video card drivers yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Windows Update and see if we can find it that way. So we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Okay, all, right. all right. Well, I got um, everything completed. The video card was actually a X1100 Radeon card, and I got the drivers installed. Right now, it's just doing uh, some updates. Um, I'm going to end the video here because we're having the rest of the family come, and it's just going to become a zoo in here. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and feel free to uh, let me know how you like my videos, and have a blessed day, everybody.